What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, your home for the 2020 World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers. My name is Jeff Spiegel, and I am here on a Saturday because we've got some more arbitration stuff to talk about. If you missed our video yesterday, yesterday was the deadline for teams and players to reach an agreement ahead of the arbitration deadline. The Dodgers had seven players eligible for arbitration. They reached an agreement on with five of them. Corey Knebel, Walker Bueller, excuse me, not Walker Bueller, Cody Bellinger, Corey Seager, um, Julio Urias, and Dylan Floro, the five. The two they did not reach an agreement were Walker Bueller and Austin Barnes. So what does that mean? Basically what happened is the way arbitration works, players can request a certain amount of money, teams can offer them a certain amount of money, and if they cannot agree on a one-year contract, then it goes to an arbitration hearing where a panel will simply decide what they believe the player to be worth. So I'll say this up front. Walker Bueller and Austin Barnes will both be Dodgers in 2021. Have no fear. The only question is how much they will make and what their contracts will look like. Okay, so at this point, having missed the deadline, the Dodgers have two choices. They can no longer sign them to a one-year deal they agree upon. They either have to wait until they go to court or they can agree to a long-term extension. Last year, Chris Taylor and Max Muncie missed the deadline. Both guys end up signing extensions with the Dodgers. Chris Taylor buying out his remaining two years of arbitration. Max Muncie actually adding a team option for his first year of free agency. So both of those guys would end up getting guaranteed money. They're not playing on one-year contracts, having to worry about you know arbitration and how that plays out. They just get a guaranteed deal, whereas the Dodgers have some certainty and know their cap, etc. So what does it look like for Austin Barnes and Walker Bueller? Okay, well, let's talk about the numbers. Walker Bueller requested... $4.15 million. The Dodgers offered $3.3 million. So there's about an $850,000 gap there. For Austin Barnes, he asked for $2 million. The Dodgers offered $1.5 million. So there's a $500,000 gap there. Barnes has two more years of arbitration remaining, including this one. So this year, one more after that. Walker Bueller, this is his first, and he's got three more because of a Super 2 rule. So this is his first of four. So will the Dodgers sign these guys to extensions? Austin Barnes, I would say... I could see it happening. I think Barnes kind of fits into the Muncie-Taylor category, a guy who's probably not going to crush it in free agency. And so maybe taking some guaranteed money, maybe they can sign him to a two-year deal worth $4 million or $3.5 million, something like that, just to buy out, get some certainty. Um, and it might be a benefit to him as a guy who who knows what his playing time looks like, right, with with Caber Ruiz coming up, Will Smith already there. So that might offer him st some stability as well as the Dodgers some predictability if they decide to go that route. Now, Walker Bueller is a little more fascinating. He's a long way from free agency. Again, he has four more seasons until he's a free agent. So while the Dodgers, I'm sure, would love to buy those out, maybe add a year or two of free agency, the flip side is, why would Walker Bueller want to do that? Yes, he's dealt with some injuries, so that would maybe be the motivation. But the flip side is, he can get to free agency. He's going to make a huge amount of money. Think Garrett Cole, Trevor Bauer type dollars. If he was a free agent now, he would make far more than Trevor Bauer would be making, I believe. So will the Dodgers sign a long-term deal? We know Andrew Friedman has a history of this, especially when he was back at the race. Again, Muncie and Taylor, some examples last year, but we'll see. The Dodgers, obviously it's not ideal to have to go to court where you're essentially arguing against your own players and why they're not worth as much as they think they should be. The Dodgers try and avoid that. Jock Peterson got there last year. Pedro Baez got there last year. Both of those guys now gone. So we'll see. But as it stands, again, the Dodgers will have Walker Buehler and Austin Barnes next year. The only question is at what cost? Uh, again, arbitration numbers. You recognize these numbers. Buehler asking for $4 million. He's worth far more. Arbitration kind of dampens the amount of money a player makes. It's not great for them. But as the arbitration years go on, they can make more and more money. So we'll see what happens. Let us know below. What's your prediction? Do the Dodgers sign either of these guys to a long-term deal? Where do the numbers settle? Let us know below. As always, check out Dodger Blue 1958 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and Instagram. And make sure you're back here Monday night at 8 p.m. for Dodger Heads Live. We're going to be giving out a Dodgers World Series hat. We're going to be giving out a Dodgers World Series DVD. It's going to be a great one. As always, before we go, Vin, tell them the truth. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.